Welcome to the Social Stack, your go-to spot for marketing tips based in technology for your real estate business. I'm Amy Stack, and today we're going to be covering uh, Keller Williams websites in KW Command and do how to do some basic setup for them. Uh, if this is something you're interested in learning more about, go ahead and like and subscribe, and you can go ahead and hit that bell icon to get notified anytime a new video lands. I go ahead and share my screen with you. I just logged into command, so I'm on the main dashboard right now. Today, like I said, I just want to go over some basics so that you have a good feel for how everything is laid out and where you go to find your basic information. Uh, to get into your website editor, you're going to come all the way down to the last icon on the left-hand side, that is consumer. This is where you'll find everything that's consumer facing, including your website. You can see I have some pages built out already. If you've never been in here, this is going to be blank, which is totally fine. You can go to the top right and there's a create a new page button. Just below that, there's a little button that says configure your site. If you've never done this, you'll wanna tap that and then hit this first option that says, I wanna use the new KW agent site. So if you're paying for a third party site, you're gonna use one of these other two options. If you're using the free one provided to you, click that first button and hit submit. Um, I've already done that, so it's not gonna pop up a wizard or anything for me after this. If this is your first time, you should get some more uh, options that you can customize for yourself after that. So I'm just gonna hit the X there. I want to walk you through also in this little blue bar, you will see it says, see your configured agent site here. This is your URL. So if you don't know what your website is, now you do. You can go ahead and tap that button and it's gonna give you a preview of what your site looks like. I again have built mine out a little so you can see that I have some customization in here. And as I scroll down, I've added some featured listings and I've got more custom info at the bottom there. It's important to know that your uh, public information with your picture, contact information, all of that, that's going to feed from your marketing profile. So if you ever want to update any of that, you will actually do that by clicking your name up in the top right hand corner and going to settings. And then on the left hand side, you want connect settings and marketing profile. So if you need to update your picture, your logo, any of your contact information. Uh, if you are a, a military affiliate, you can add that here. That's a new feature. You can see you, there's lots of different things, your office info. And even at the bottom, you can put in all your social media links as well. So if anything on your website that falls in this category needs to be updated, you need to come to your marketing profile to update that. So I'm gonna go back to that consumer button. So we talked about configure your site and how to view your preview your uh, website. The next thing I want to show you is actually site and app settings. So we're going to go into there and there's a, several buttons on this page. We're going to start at this toggle actually at the top left. So do you see how it's, uh, it's green right now? It says use my information to brand my agent site. So that means when I'm on my site, at the top here, it's gonna have my office and my logo. And at the bottom, it's gonna have all of that marketing branding that we just talked about. If I turn that toggle off, let me go back to my site and refresh it. It will just show the generic Keller Williams information. You can see up in the top left, now we just have the general KW logo. And at the bottom, there's no information about Amy Stack over here. I also no longer have the button here of my drop down of the pages that I've already created. So let me turn that back on. And I'll go and refresh again. You see right here, I have that social stack button. Now that my page is on, these are all the different pages I've made for my website. So if your branding is off, you will not see these pages pop up and you will not see your branding in the top left or at the bottom next to your contact information. So it's important to make sure that this toggle is turned on. So that is on our general site here. Um, if you want to edit your home page, let me go to that page again. This is our home page. 
So you can see we've got some text right here. Mine says, see what's out there. And then we have these pictures in the background that will just kind of carousel through. They'll fade in and out. That is what this first section is, these general settings here. So if you want to change what text shows up over that search field, this is the spot you can do that. And you can add your images here. It will hold up to five. You can see it shows you right on the left. It has to be JPEG or PNG. The recommended size is 1200 by 1200 pixels. And again, there's a limit of five. So if you want to get rid of one of the pictures that are in here, all you have to do is hit that trash can. And then this upload button, currently I'm maxed out, so I can't hit upload, but you'll be able to click upload and load in your new photo. Um, and then you can see as we scroll down, there's some more settings in there that you can customize to your liking. These are the ones I get the most questions about. Uh, the next page is URL here. Um, if you need to change your website, so typically, I know in our office, your, your website's going to match your email. So if my email was opportunity at kw.com, my website would be opportunity.kw.com. Uh, if that's not what you want, you can always, oops, I double clicked it too many times. Uh, you can always request to change that. We'll go back here. And if it's not available, it'll tell you right away. Um, if it is available, you'll hit save changes and your site will be updated. It's just important to make sure that if you have already market, uh, if you have already made any marketing materials with that website on it, you'll have to go back and update that uh, because it's not going to forward to your next, uh, to that new URL. And our next thing here is featured listings. Then we have theme, which I'm gonna go over right now. So you can choose red or black, pretty simple. I have mine with the black. If you want red, you just click red. You just wanna scroll down and hit update theme. And you can see it's just a little bit of accents that'll update. It's not like the whole page is gonna turn red or black. So you can see my words are black up here. My button is black, this text is black. So it's just a couple little highlights that'll be reflected there. Then on the last tab there, the agent site pages, this is where you'll actually be able to, once you build pages, uh, you can order them and add them to your website. So we're gonna do a whole video just on adding pages. But this is a question I get a lot is how do I change the order that my pages show up or I made a page but it's not showing on my website so just keep this in mind for later. Um, like I said we'll do video specifically on that. And then I do want to point out that we do always have these you'll notice learn more with Kelly guides if you ever see those you can always click on those and they'll give you little uh, tips and hints to move forward. I'm going to go back to the top left real quick here and hit agent site pages. And you'll see I have a whole bunch. If I scroll down, it says I actually have 24 pages that have been created. However, on my website, when I click my drop down to see the pages, you can see there's only a few. There's definitely not 24 listed here. So if I'm going back into command, you can see these little eyeballs. If I hover over them, they're gray right now. It says not no view available. This is not an active sub page. I'm going to scroll over to my next page you'll see I have some blue ones. So those blue ones are the ones that are live, meaning that they are showing right here on my website. So that's how you can kind of see what's up and running. Now, if you have made a page that you are still working on, maybe you need to update something, you don't have to make it live yet, you can come in here and hit these three little dots and hit edit and get in to update it. Today, I just wanted to kind of give you that walkthrough of what all the buttons were, um, and then we will do more videos on how to build a specific page, how to make it live. So make sure to come check back on this playlist to see the different features you have. I'll see you next time.